Welcome to the podcast. It's been named one of the very best in marketing research and it's Research Business Daily Report. Please, if you can, go to RBDR's exclusive community at the crowdfunding platform, patreon.com slash RBDR. And once there, please lend your support. I'm Bob Letterer for more than 25 years, a respected voice in market research. Welcome to a new week and to today's market research in the COVID-19 era episode number 76. DBL Smith Director David Smith returns to RBDR today with some new coronavirus related learnings. David asserts that the plight of researchers is pretty solid as long as they follow a few basics. And he believes researchers will always find a place in business decision making if they tap into three quote unquote power skills. Number one, seeing the big picture. Number two, forensically unpacking client beliefs. And three, explaining all of this using compelling, influential storytelling. I'm going to let David provide all the details. Thanks, Bob. In these uncertain, challenging times, there are likely to be short to medium term cuts in primary research spending. But the good news is that there's a wealth of existing data in the information vaults to tap into. And this is a great opportunity for insight professionals to leverage three big power skills. First, being the wide angle lens using our telescopic skills. Today, we need professionals who can see the big picture, visionary leaders that Isaiah Berlin refers to as having an acute sense of what fits with what, what springs from what, and what leads to what. There's a great line from the West Wing. Somebody's appointed as a presidential advisor. He asks a colleague what he has to do. The gist of the answer is, you have to tell the president how what is happening in Asia relates to jobs in Iowa, how this relates to education policy, and what this means for taxation. You are the president's wide angle lens. For us in research, the challenge here is breaking out of the straitjacket of conventional statistical analysis and to do this wide angle lens job using powerful holistic concepts. We need to remember as insight professionals, we are admissible evidence. Power skill number two, putting fundamental customer beliefs under the forensic microscope. It's time to really go deep into researching belief structures in so many critical areas that could now be going on a fundamental overhaul. The pandemic and the experiences of lockdown has put into sharp relief the need to drill down and analyze how our core customer beliefs could be changing. Powerful insights are not miraculously found in the data. They're created in a strategic dialogue between the insight professional who knows the data and the stakeholders who understand the business context. Today, there's so much to uh, explore, including the fragility of the small business sector with its long tail of highly vulnerable businesses, the nature of retail and online buying behavior, and what's happening in the world of education and training. And I could go on with this list. Power skill number three, telling compelling insight stories that prompt innovation and action. When anxiety uh, and uncertainty are in play, attention spans drop and people are not prepared to absorb complex data centric arguments. So amidst all this nervousness, we need to tell the big picture story and nail down our insights about changing belief structures in a compelling way that taps into stakeholders emotions and leads to constructive action. Um, If you want to uh, uh, take a look at this power uh, uh, skill of storytelling and you want to take it to the next level, you might want to check out the DVL Smith Tell the Inside Story online program. In sum, 2020 exemplifies challenging times, but researchers will always be in demand if they cultivate these three power skills. Seeing the big picture, forensically unpacking changing belief structures and explaining all of this as a useful, compelling, influential narrative. Hey, we'd like your point of view about how research has impacted or been impacted by the coronavirus from your perspective. It goes right into this RBDR series. And aside from helpful insight that you'll be sharing with your peers 
The video that we'll jointly create with you creates a promotion tool for you and your business. And that is just one of many potential opportunities for its use. So please email your ideas and your feelings about research and coronavirus to me at rflbob at gmail.com. That wraps up today's Research Business Daily Report. If you make it a habit to watch RBDR either semi-regularly, once in a while, or every single day, thank you. And if you find that an episode or two here or there is time well spent, please recommend it by sending that video to friends and peers. They will thank you for it. And we hope that you will also consider becoming an RBDR Patreon supporter, which is doable at patreon.com forward slash RBDR. Have a great research day and we'll see you back here with us tomorrow.